Hello everyone and welcome to Write a Native iOS Game using Xamarin and C Sharp Volume 3 by Pact Publishing. My name is Stephen Daniel and I am a senior software engineer and the founder and CEO of Geniusoft Studios, a software development company that focuses primarily on developing games and business applications for the iOS, Android and Mac platforms. I was also the co-founder and chief technology officer at Soft Empire Proprietary Limited. I am also the author of various book titles on iOS, Android and Xamarin through Pact Publishing. I have more than 17 years experience in the IT industry and I am extremely passionate about making people employable by helping them bridge the gap between using their existing skills in iOS, Android and Xamarin to get the job done. I also have an associate diploma in computer science and I have been developing mobile applications for the past seven years. I am also a member of various technical forums here in Melbourne, Australia, and I maintain my company website called GeniusoftStudios.com. So in this course, we will be building a memory matching game using Visual Studio for Mac Community 2017, as well as C Sharp and the Xamarin.iOS platform that allows developers to create native iOS applications using the same UI controls that are available in Objective-C, Swift and Xcode. So this course outlines theoretical knowledge needed in order to proceed with further development of the additional sections, as well as offering a project-based approach to teaching you the skills required to develop end-to-end -end native iOS solutions using Microsoft Visual Studio for Mac and C Sharp that are complemented with hands-on video demonstrations. So let's take a look at what we will learn in each of the following sections. So in the first section, we will learn how to create our memory game app for the iOS platform using Visual Studio for Mac and then learn how to create a game board interface and class that will be used to populate the tiles within a game board UI view control. We will then learn how to create a image circle interface and class that will be used to create a circle image for each of our game tiles. And then we will look at some of the methods that are available within the UI image view class that comes part of the UI kit namespace to create each of our game image tiles for our memory match game that will be displayed within our game board. Lastly, we will learn how to download and add image assets to our iOS solution for our memory match game, and then load and store the images into an array that we can access later. In the second section, we will learn how to create the user interface for our memory game, and learn how to work with the iOS designer inside Visual Studio for Mac, as well as how to drag a number of UI labels, as well as a UI button and a UI view control from the Xamarin Toolbox to our storyboard that will be used to define the user interface for our memory match game. We will learn how to work with properties and layouts and how to use and set constraints within our user interface and apply these to each of our control elements so that our game will resize based on the different device screen sizes. In our third and final section, we will learn how to implement the remaining logic within our view controller class to complete our match the tiles game. We will create and implement an instance method that will be used to end the current game in progress and start a new game. We will also learn how to work with the NS timer class and the create repeating schedule timer method to set up and start our game countdown timer. Lastly, we will launch our match the tiles game within the iOS simulator to make sure that our game works as expected. By the end of this course, you will build a native match the tiles game for iOS using Visual Studio for Mac and C Sharp. You'll work with iOS storyboards to design the user interface for our game and work with layouts and constraints and apply them to your UI elements. You will also work with the UI touch, UI view, core graphics and NS timer classes and then learn how to apply simple animations to your UI views using view transitions. You'll also learn how to handle touch events within the game board view and learn how to shuffle the game tiles within our game board. And then lastly, learn how to compare and check to see if our game tiles match. So let's take a look at some of the prerequisites that you would need for this course. You will need to have a Macintosh computer with at least 4 gigabytes of RAM. More is recommended. You would need to have Microsoft Visual Studio Community 2017 for Mac installed. And you'll need to have the latest version of Xcode and the latest iOS SDKs. You will need to have at least one year working knowledge of the C Sharp language, especially C Sharp 6. And you would need to be comfortable working with and using iOS storyboards, layouts and applying constraints to UI elements. You need to be comfortable working with and implementing classes, interfaces, events, delegates and Lambda expressions. And although the last one is optional, any experience that you have developing native apps for the iOS platform would be beneficial. 